Hey guys, Box Cat here, and I just finished up another monthly art challenge in my travel sketchbook here, and this actually finished it off. So after this video, I should have another flip through video. So in the month of November, one of the challenges is called Hue Vember, which you pick a color or hue for each day of the month, and then you draw a picture with that color being the majority, what I did. So I took the main hue that I'm doing, added black, white, and a gray, and that's the composition of it. I also drew foxes in various forms. Some are inspired by like turtle tea because I really like their fox designs. Um, others I just gathered from who knows where, imagination. <laughs> so anyways, let's get uh, going. All right, here we are flipping to day one. And I chose color yellow, so I have just kind of a proud yellow fox. I know it doesn't look very yellow. Um, I'm using the Royal Lancaster's Azure marker set that you can get at like Walmart for, I don't remember how many markers it was for like 30 bucks, but you know, it's a big box set. Um, I got him originally to go on a road trip with my husband because we drove out in the summer to Missouri for to be in a friend's wedding. So anyways, this is yellow. Uh, day two was red, so I did a little gamer fox. This is inspired by Turtle T. I I believe theirs is a full nine-tailed fox and the controller looks more like a combination of the PlayStation and um, Super Nintendo controller. Um, day three was orange, so I did a fox with a pumpkin, because we just got off and it's a little pumpkin spice season. And the pumpkins don't really, but uh, anyway, moving on, let's just move on. Uh, day four was blue, so I did a fox, a white fox with blue accents and like a Ravenclaw inspired scarf because it's getting chilly most places as winter is starting to hit and uh, I'm a Ravenclaw myself so this is really I guess my spirit animal I guess uh, let me know what the house you are from if you're into Harry Potter or if you don't really have a house what's your favorite character or movie or book and if you don't like Harry Potter well then tell me some other fantasy uh, fandom you are into uh, day five was lavender, or light purple, or whatever you want to call it. This was inspired by a turtle t-shirt. I believe that this particular one was like an Earth Day one, or just space inspired, but it had like the whole solar system. And it was either a red panda or a nine-tailed fox, I think. But it was inspired by that with the idea of him just floating. And I like Saturn, although when I colored the planet, it really shivered over into the uh, rains, but I mean, I guess it looked like the rains are kind of see-through, so that worked out. Uh, day six was green, so I did a green fox pouncing on a bunny. Uh, day seven was purple, so I drew a fox sleeping, or tried to. Those isn't great. I'm not great at animals. Um, uh, although I can make them look like a Digimon or a Pokemon, no problem. But anyway, moving on. Day eight is aqua, and I drew kind of a water spirit, fox spirit, with a white sea otter. Yeah, uh, that's fun. Uh, day nine is violet, and I was inspired by the Dr. Seuss book, Fox and Socks. So he's obviously wearing socks. Uh, day ten, the color was olive, and I drew a little olive fox eating buckwheat soba noodles, which are actually gray when they cook, so it worked out nice. And it's not ramen. There's no extra stuff, no broth. It's soba noodles. Uh, day 11, I did teal. I also got messed up on the um, dates. So and For some reason, on this particular one, I wrote the 12, even though it's the it was the 11, so I had to use white out. The day it's like the third or fourth time that has happened in one of my sketchbooks. Anyways, I did kind of a nine-tailed kitchen design. I think it's supposed to be nine tails. Although you can only say one, two, three, four tails, so maybe it's a four-tailed box. 
I'm four tailed to me. Um, day 12 was brown, which was inspired by um, RPGs. And this is like a thief, ranger, rogue, fox. Not very good because they wear white. Maybe they're part paladin. Haha. -ha. Um, day 13 was magenta. So I did kind of a slightly finnegan fox because the gears are really big for ho with Hawaiian hibiscus. Or hibiscus. I was thinking of Hawaii when I think of hibiscus, but I guess they go in any tropical place. Uh, day 14, I had cayenne or cyan or the, the blue that's supposed to be the blue. Uh, anyway, um, it's a fox flame with will-o'-wisps. I did the will-o'-wisps with um, colored pencil because I didn't think my gel pen would do well and I didn't want to shell out the money for a paint pen. Nor did I want to get out my paintbrush and my acrylic paint. Day 15, uh, I call, I'm calling this color sea foam. It really picked up a bunch of stuff off of my, um, I put a piece of cardboard in between when I'm doing marker or coloring so it doesn't mess up the page. And it really picked up all the colors. It also looks like it picked up the color the next day too. But anyways, this is sea foam and I did a little superhero fox. This one is also inspired by the um, Mother's Day collection of Trilty, where they have like moms or superheroes. Um, then we got a Finnick Fox for day 16, Tan. Day 17, I did one gray and I did a little Ninja Fox. Because Ninja Foxes are cool. Uh, day seven, 18, sorry, 17 was the last day. Day 18 is pink, and I did a three headed fox or a turban. Turban's fox? I don't know. I'm tired. I have puppies. You can give me some slack. Day 19, I did white, so I have like an Arctic fox. I wish I made it look more like an Arctic fox, but it's still pretty cool. Day 20, I did black, so I have like this gothic dark fox with skulls. Day 21 uh, was Sienna Brown, which I did kind of a half sploot fox. Foxes do sploots like corgis and some other dogs. Um, day 22 was cool gray, so I did the fox kind of pump on iron. Gotta get that workout in. Day 23 is light green. And I did this little fox. I was originally going to give him like a soccer ball or something, or like a D20 uh, die, but I just decided to do it black. I had done the um, squares, and then I put numbers, and then I'm just like, I'm just going to do it black. So he's got like a lump of coal or some obsidian. Day 24 was her truth, her yellow green or neon green. And you would be frustrated too if you were that color, wouldn't you be? Again, these markers picked up all the stuff on the thing, so it's gone. Uh, day 25 is coral or salmon, whichever you want to call it. They're pretty much the same color. In this, mark, it's in this marker set, let me preface that, they're not exactly the same color. There are slight differences. So he apparently does not like being this color. Uh, day 26 I had maroon and so I did kind of a forest spirit fox with mushrooms growing on on it and I tried to lighten up this part with a color pencil it didn't work out quite as well as some of my other attempts of doing that but I think it gives it some uniqueness day 27 was umber which is really really dark warm brown gray color and it really looks gray <laughs> as you can tell I'm like, that is actually brown um day 28 I decided to go metallics and I did copper my copper marker was dying this is just a Crayola metallic marker so not great to begin with I had it for coloring in adult coloring books day 29 I decided to do silver I'm working up to you know 
the like top color as you can tell my markers were dying I even tried to redo this with another marker which totally didn't work my fine liner from Prismacolor exploded all over me and the couch you can still see some of it on my thumb and it's been a few days so yay and then lastly the 11th the 11th wow the last day of the 11th month of this year I did gold and I did the kind of this cute I don't recall what these are called but I've seen these dolls and like Japanese um, shops and whatnot and they're supposed to be like the Dramaku dolls that ward off evil spirits and whatnot so I did one up as a little fox and that is my hue vember I might do this challenge again um, at some point I want to do a continuation type thing of sketch ember inktober and hue vember but I mean when am I ever gonna get to that so anyways thanks for joining me on this journey of my flip through of my hue vember of 2021 and I will see you in the next video. I'll catch you later.